One of America's most magnificent waterways is blackened and befouled tonight by the biggest oil spill in American history. 240,000 barrels, 11 million gallons of Alaskan crude oil escaped from the huge vessel. So, oiled residue of the Exxon Valdez 18 years later. What it's really going to take is a social movement of ordinary people in America realizing that transitioning off of fossil fuels is a ethical and a moral choice. That, for me, was the trigger to becoming an accidental activist. On April 20th, 2010, a powerful explosion rocks the Deepwater Horizon drilling platform in the Gulf of Mexico. BP and the U.S. Coast Guard agree to spray a chemical dispersant on an unprecedented scale. By June, people were starting to say, why is EPA telling us the air is okay to breathe when I can step outside and I get a headache instantly? This is setting up for this complete clash of industry government versus the citizens. It's all about oil at all costs. We needed the job, we needed to work, we needed money so we could feed our family, but none of, at no time did we sign on to put our health at risk or in danger. I've already lost my boat, I've lost my business, I've lost my life. The majority of oil has now evaporated or dispersed. So they do whatever they can do to keep us dependent on the oil, and as far as them making the drilling any safer, I doubt it. Big oil is in our Congress writing laws that they want the legislators to pass. And now, with some of the campaign contribution laws, large financial interests carry even more weight, where you can contribute unlimited amounts of money to political candidates and hide the fact that you're doing it. I was asked by middle school students, if you were our age now, what's the most important thing you would be working on? Children their age were actually suing the federal government over the climate. If enough of us, of all ages and diversity, step forward now, we would be the change that we're waiting for. We don't have to wait on any of our politicians. It's up to us to be the change. We all need to come together as, as community, as a global community. That's the only way that change is going to happen is if we organize ourselves in numbers. This is where we need to be, in solidarity.